Appear for a reaction to Arizona Attorney General Mark Bronovich and Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Uh, two attorney generals, appreciate you both joining us tonight. I want to start with Ken Paxton here and talk about that situation in Texas. I mean, this one's caught on tape, but this type of crime is happening more often than just the one incident that was caught uh, by Fox. And you're right. Unlike Joe Biden, I've been to the border many times. I've talked to ranchers, farmers all along the Texas border. People are terrified because their property is being damaged, their fences are being cut, their cattle are being let loose, people are breaking into their houses, they're stealing their, their, their cars and trucks, they don't feel safe with their children. This is a common occurrence along the Texas border, and I'm sure it's also a common occurrence all along the border of Arizona, New Mexico, and California. And it's unfortunate that this president doesn't seem to care and doesn't even have the time to meet with any of these people that have, have suffered tragic consequences as a result of his policies. Yeah, the president hasn't met with those people. He won't even meet with the border patrol, for goodness sake. Uh, Attorney General Bronovich, explain from the Arizona perspective what you're seeing. And, and if you can, get into the whole idea of busing and what the administration is doing to move people outside of Arizona, Texas, and other states to other parts of the country. Uh, Jason, there is crazy, there's insane, and there's what Joe Biden has done at our southern border. I mean, I think what his actions demonstrate is that he's ready for a different type of asylum. Because the reality is, is every state is a border state. 50% of the fentanyl flowing into this country now is flowing through our Arizona border. In the past two months, enough fentanyl has been seized to kill potentially the entire population of a state like Louisiana, where our friend and colleague Jeff Landry is. So this is an unprecedented crisis. And every single day, there's about 2,000 gotaways, uh, you know, people that are bringing illegal drugs and crime into our country. And so when I see somebody like uh, Governor Abbott sending a few thousand migrants to places like Martha's Vineyard or, you know, to Washington, D.C., you see the left all these hue and cries about what a catastrophe it is. But meanwhile, places like Yuma, Arizona have tens of millions of dollars of re unreimbursed health care costs. In places like Arizona and Texas, we are spending tens of millions of dollars on incarceration costs. There's costs to our education system. And of course, uh, you cannot break the law. Your first act entering the country breaking the law undermines the very principles of the rule of law and why people want to come to this country in the first place. So what Joe Biden has done is unnecessary, unwise, and it's unconstitutional. And that's why we continue to sue him. Yeah, look, this is, these are policies that are put in place by the Biden-Harris administration in action. These are the consequences of the changes that they made. Attorney General Paxton, I, Texas, I mean, it's just taken the brunt of this. I heard the mayor of Denver complaining that they had about 1,000 migrants and they wanted an emergency you know, declaration. But Texas is dealing with this and Arizona is dealing with this by, by numbers that are so astronomical I can't even fathom. Yeah, day one, Joe Biden announced that he was not going to deport people. We've now sued him, I think, 11 times over immigration issues. And the reason is he's violating his own constitutional role to enforce immigration law. And the consequences are not surprising. He's known exactly what he was going to get. And we've gone from really good numbers under the Trump administration and from following federal law to basically ignoring federal law and ignoring his duty as president to enforce his, his uh, federal, federal laws. And the problem is we're all suffering the consequences, and it's not going to be just Texas and Arizona. I promise you this, as this, as more and more people come, as millions cross the border, uh, we're all going to be affected. And Mark's right. This is not just uh, border states. We're all going to become border states, and we're all going to pay for this, not just in, in, in cost, but also in lost lives and in higher crime. And, and that's the issue, uh, Attorney General Bronovich, is— the Biden-Harris administration, they're not enforcing the current law and the, exacerbating the problem because these people are being invited into this country. But then once they get here, what are they supposed to do for food and shelter and jobs and everything else? They just expect a handout. I mean, what else are they going to do? They're here illegally. Just to put this in perspective, you know, we throw these numbers out there. I mean, there's a record amount of people dying of drug overdoses in this country, especially fentanyl, because the cartels have seized southern control of our border. I was a gang prosecutor for years, Jason, and it breaks my heart to see what 
Joe Biden has done and Secretary Mayorkas in ceding control of our southern border to the cartels. They're making record profits. They're undermining and destabilizing Mexico, and we're all paying the cost. And once again, we've talked about this before, but the, the number of apprehensions of people on the terror watch list are, once again, record amounts of people. So America is, is less safe as a result of the Biden administration policies. And really, it starts with just a simple enforcing the law as it is. Look, I'm a first-generation American. I understand why people want to come here. But when you undermine the rule of law, when you undermine the Constitution, you essentially eradicate and destroy the very reason why people want to come to America. And until Joe Biden cares more about middle America than he does about South America and Central America, this problem will not go away. And it is a catastrophe. It's a man-made disaster. Yeah. And we are less safe as a result of Joe Biden. Well, I think they're doing it on purpose. I think the Democrats know exactly what they're trying to do, because I could just hear them making the argument. At some point, they're going to say, oh, well, there's so many people here. We can't deport them. How would you deport all these people? Well, you invited them here, and they need to be deported. Uh, gentlemen, Attorney General uh, uh, Paxson, Attorney General Bronovich, have a happy new year. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.